Hey, I'm back here showing you guys a new tutorial on how to set up a server. Today we're going to be doing seven days to die. So for starters, what you're going to want to do is bring up your Steam client here. You'll see here in your library where it says games, you want to switch this over to tools. When you do that, you'll see a new thing pop up right here, which is a seven days to die dedicated server. All you got to do is hit install. And that will install the server onto your computer, wherever you tell it to. And then pretty much that's basics for that server. Now, as for the actual server, I have a remote desktop up to a spare computer of mine that I actually have the server downloaded on right now. You can see it running right there. But when you get it, it'll look just like this. So that will be the server. Basically, you got just two things you need to worry about. One of them being the config file right here, which you can edit with Notepad. And this will show all the stuff you need. This is the one we currently got going right now. So you got, you know, your regular game settings, server settings, all that kind of stuff. This is the one they're playing on at the moment. Which was the other thing to show you. Ah, right here. This right here is the main thing you need to worry about, especially if you're doing mod. You'll see it's other technical settings. You'll see EAC enabled. You want to make sure you set this to false. If you don't, mods ain't going to work. But basically, you set that to false. You got all the other settings. Set them whatever you want. Names and all that. That's pretty much it for that. And then after you get that done, you can pretty much run this right here. You get the command console, and it'll be good to go. The only other thing you need to worry about this for mods is to make sure to get your mod folder put in here. And basically, all you gotta do is, if you go to the 7 Days to Die mod launcher, which I got off of their website right here. I hit download, I'll put the link in the description for you guys for this. And you'll download it. It'll give you this zip file here. You mm, unzip it. You'll get this folder. Right there is the mod launch. You just run it. And then you'll get up to this guy right here. Which is the mod launcher. And as you see, you'll hit install and overhaul. This is the list of currently available ones. You pick whichever one you want. For this one, we will be doing War of the Walkers. Which I technically already have installed. So I have it right here. But you just want to hit the play button on it, or the install on it, sorry. So you hit like install, and then you can copy either from your local, or you can download a second version from Steam, and this will basically make a second instance of the game for you in a separate folder of your choosing. Then once you get that done, what you need to do is go to where you ever, wherever it is that you saved it. For me, I have it in my 6 terabyte here, 7 days die, and this is my Alpha 20. So right here is the ones I have installed right now. War of the Walkers, and pretty much all you have to do is grab the mods folder out of here and shove it over into the server folder. That's literally a copy of this. And once you have that put in, then the server will be good to go. Then the only other thing you need to worry about is port forwarding. This is where we were having a little bit of issue, but we figured it out right here. So if you go into your virtual servers, you'll set up two seven days to die protocols. One is a TCP, one is a UDP. So you'll want to test TCP as 2600. Uh, 20, yeah, can't talk now. But 26900 will be the internal protocol for that one. The external will match. As for the UDP, you'll want to port from 26900 to 26903. Same with the internals. So those will match. And then you should be able to connect. And your friends should as well. So the only other thing you need to do is make sure your configs are good. And you'll have a working 7 days to die server. So, I hope this has been very helpful for you guys. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them as I can. So, see you guys later.